So before we start today's video, I want to tell you guys it's sponsored by Ridge.com slash exotic. I do have a sponsorship. Yes, it's been forever since we got a sponsorship, but I want to thank Ridge Wallets for hooking it up. Guys, look at how sleek this wallet is. This wallet is designed to be small and fit into your front pocket. A lot of people had those old, big, chunky, bulky wallets that they used to have uh, that keep receipts in it, pictures of their ex-girlfriends in it, other things that aren't necessary for it. So instead of doing that and having a big, chunky wallet, because if you guys ride, you know, just like me, we like to have something small that we can just fit into our pocket. Now, let me show you why Ridge Wallet is the wallet for me. This is the one that I always wanted, the carbon black. They have, I think, over, over 30 colors on their website of different wallets. The carbon black was my favorite just because I, I don't know I love carbon fiber I've always been kind of like a little a little car head not really too much but carbon fiber just always was something that stuck to me and the cool thing is is this wallet can hold up to 12 cards in here so it's not like you can only hold three cards it's, it's got this rubber band technology I don't I don't know exactly what the word is it's not really technology but it's, it's it's held by rubber bands basically these two straps at the end that makes it expand and you can easily pull out your wallets and access them however you want and then it's easy to put back in very sleek very small and as you guys can see there's a money clip as well so you can keep your money there so it has everything you need I have my license my credit cards my debit cards everything that I need in this small package now let me compare it to my phone real quick this is my phone see how big my phone is this is the wallet look at how small this wallet is in comparison now look at the thickness this is my phone's thickness the wallet's thickness with all my cards pretty much the same thickness I mean it's pretty thin man I mean even just size wise if you put it next to my phone there's no comparison it's way smaller than your iPhone so this is a good wallet if you guys want to check them out it's ridge.com slash exotic a link will be in the description below make sure you use code exotic for the 10% discount and you'll also be helping me out as well. If that isn't enough to win you over yet, they have 30, over 30,000 five-star reviews on this wallet, you guys. And they're so confident that you'll enjoy this wallet. They have a lifetime warranty. So guess what? You buy it once. If any time it breaks or anything like that, they will send you a brand new one. So it's perfectly fine. You have a warranty on this. And this is going to be the wallet for the rest of your life. Very slick, very thin. And let me show you why I love it real quick. This one, you can definitely tell that there's a wallet there. You can see the wallet mark. You can see the crease line, stuff like that. And it doesn't look that good. Now, if I throw in the Ridge Wallet, you can see with the Ridge Wallet in there, it's very sleek, very small. You can barely tell that it's in my pocket. And especially when it comes to riding. Don't mind my feet, but when you're on a bike and you're, you're bent over and stuff like that and everything's tight on your pants, I like to wear skinny jeans. You can see that you can't really tell the wallet. It's not really in the way. It doesn't feel like anything's there. But when I throw on this big fat wallet, you can see, look at how big my old wallet is. I mean, geez, this thing is just, it's in the way, it's bulky. It just doesn't feel right. If I lift my leg up, you can just definitely tell. So I suggest guys, getting your Ridge wallet at Ridge. Birdie, will you stop? I'm trying to make a video. Ridge.com slash exotic. It's so sexy, man. Look at this. Look at this wallet, man. The carbon fiber. I, I love it. I absolutely love it. All right, guys. Bricky's here. It's been a while since you've seen him. And he, he has some an idea. And look, he's a vlogger now. Your boy's a vlogger. I'm what's trying. good? I'm trying, dude. All right, what's this idea you have? All right, we about to go uh, tag some houses real quick. Oh, no. Nah, I'm not deal. out. All right. All right, guys. Never mind. Video's over. I'm not no, tagging no houses. Bro, tagging houses? That's mad illegal. Dude, I don't need you. Love. Show me. Show me the cam. What color? It's... What color? <laughs> what the heck? What do you need butane fuel for? I don't know. What else you got? You got some coke, but don't tell the feds, man. Oh no! Nah. All right, guys, don't. I'm not. I'm not taking part in any of this illegal stuff he's doing. I don't even know if this is illegal. Technically, is this illegal? I don't think so. I mean, tagging houses is illegal. I mean, are you making a bomb? It's a rocket. Are making rockets illegal? <laughs> Probably. <laughs> I'm not trying to get canceled. It depends on who you are. Depending on who you are, the rocket is illegal. All right, well, so apparently he says it's not illegal. We're just making a rocket. It's just a little Coke. It's like Coke and Mentos, oh. but a little bit more extreme. And you guys are gonna see, so I'm gonna show you in today's video. We haven't done a vlog like this in a while. It's usually just us riding dirt bikes and stuff, but I decided, you know what? Since this, this little creative, ting tong second. <laughs> Since this little creative guy right here wants to come up with a video Why idea. We're gonna uh, we're gonna do it for you guys. Butane fuel. Some of you guys probably know what this is. Dang, my shorts are dirty. My shorts are dirty, man. It's a quarantine, guys. 
Bro, you're so much better at vlogging than I promise you, it's the coin. Shoot. Frick, my battery's about to die. Can I use your camera? <laughs> Just chill out. We're switching cameras, guys. Yeah, not like you didn't take me out on the windiest day ever. Yo, hang on, hang on. We can't do nothing. Not yet. Why not? The train, bro. You think it's too loud? If you want to be a YouTuber, you got to know when to record. <laughs> <laughs> they can't hear me. the train and then we'll start recording all right guys so since my boy wants to be a vlogger we're gonna have to record on two cameras i don't know how i'm gonna do this i hope this joke don't, don't hurt this is basically what he wants to do what are you doing it hurts what do you need the scissors for oh this looks stinks. oh that's stinky bro just it might be too windy bro where's the scissors no one's gonna be able to hear us like oh yeah, we got the good camera. All right, so what's up? That show's really cool. Bro, you really did it off camera? What kind of YouTuber are you? <laughs> <laughs> that show is insane, dude. All right, I'm gonna put the lens on my camera real quick, just so we don't lose it or damage it or break it. All right, so first step, drink some Coke, Lord. Yeah, drink Lord. Well, dump some Coke. <laughs> Get it to about there? I thought I saw him have it lower. Nah, I think this is fine. But dude, this is just freezing. Is there like a way that I can like change it? And then what he has to do? Like, it's so cold, I feel like it's bad for you. Oh shit. Let's fill it up with butane. That looks like burn marks. Let's do this. Try to block the wind. Ah, oh, it's cold. Keep going, keep going, don't stop. It's so cold. Just a more, just a more. Don't be shy, just a more. Think if I do it like that? No, 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 no. Bro, it's so you want me to do it? Yeah, you want to try it, bro? Oh. It's freaking cold. You want to try it, dude? Stand. Oh, yeah, let's do, let's do a lot. More? Tell me when. That's fine, I guess. You can try it. So you just turn it over and that's it? Yeah, we just turn it over. <laughs> it felt like it was gonna go somewhere, right? <laughs> okay, we got four more tries, baby. This long, is, long, long, this long, is long, 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 long. So much better. Look how full the soda's getting. Super long, long time. Tell me when. Long time. What if it blows up on us? No, nah, it's not. It's super long time. All right, that's it. No, 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 no. Bro, it's shooting in so much more than the last time. All right, there you go. You're good. You're good. Let's right. do it. What the fuck? <laughs> Bro, well, I don't know. I don't know. It said butane. You saw the YouTube video, dude. That shot was Fucking take me out here. Let's do this stupid ass project he wants to do. It doesn't even work. Waste my time. Fuck, man. I'm tired of this guy, man. Can you pass me? Never, ever, ever, ever will again will I listen to the newer YouTuber of Woodbridge. Don't do it, guys. It doesn't work. Slow mo, guys. You guys lied. Controlled us. Everyone else that's done it on the internet. TikTok, you fucking liar. TikTok lied. Everyone lied. Let's just go ride dirt bikes. Guys, I know I'm not riding out like I said we were going to go ride. Uh, I have a story to tell you where I've been for the past three weeks. I haven't uploaded and there's reasons for that, you guys. The cops, if you guys saw from the title and thumbnail of this video, the cops came and took four of my Chinese dirt bikes. I have footage of them coming to the front door, knocking on it, me answering. So I'm going to just break down the story of what happened and try to give you guys the best tips I have so you, this does not happen to you. Because it sucked for me. Uh, I finally got them back so I will be doing riding videos coming up in the near future. Uh, I just I took the bikes out of the garage as you can see it's it's been a while I mean I got facial hair now this is the only thing I have in my garage with my car the bikes are in the shed and stuff like that because I'm trying to play it safe I don't want cops coming by anymore um, but basically we got back we were ready to go ride there was I think two or three of us uh, we had the bikes outside running because we had to let them warm up so we turned them on and I was still inside getting everything set up I was getting my helmet my GoPros my chargers my batteries all that extra stuff that I was trying to get for the videos I was just getting ready 
Cincinnati and I think a few of my friends like one of them was out here just doing wheelies on the street and I guess I don't know if one of the neighbors called the cops or something like that but we saw three cops go by and we, we got sketched out by it because we're not allowed to be riding out on the streets we know that cops are looking for people riding so we decided to put the bikes in the garage as we're loading in the garage I'm upstairs trying to like clean and stuff and get things ready for the video and then the cops show up and my friends have the bikes sitting in the garage with the garage door open because they didn't close it we didn't fully get the bikes in completely and close it yet when the cops showed up they were just asking uh, if we ride they said that the neighbors have spotted us with bikes they see the garage is open they see we have bikes and I told them that no we we don't ride out on the streets or anything like that we usually trailer our bikes and take it out and this and that and they were like no we have we have evidence of your neighbors saying that you're doing wheelies on the streets that you're out riding on the streets we're gonna have to take the bikes give you a fine for it uh, you can come to court to get it back or pay the fine so it was a process trying to get the bikes back and that's basically where I've been the past three weeks I, I got the bikes back finally all four of them and it just sucked because it was four bikes which made it more expensive um, if it was just one dirt bike it probably wouldn't be as bad plus they didn't catch us actually out riding so it wasn't any criminal charges like crazy charges which I'm glad for but now I'm gonna be more careful if you guys you know where I live if you live in the area that I live in don't ride your bikes on the streets don't just ride it on the sidewalks don't go ride it on the public streets the cops will get you the cops told me when they came that their lieutenant in their office um, is getting cracking down she said I want you guys to like find the people that are riding and don't go easy on them take their bikes this and that because it's illegal and it's been getting crazy it's been getting more and more crazy out here where we live I see people doing wheelie down route one all the time I see people doing wheelies down the road all the time I see people riding bikes so I understand where they're coming from it just sucks because we don't do that I mean yeah we ride out to our location which is not far at all it's less than 10 minutes away once we ride out and get to our location we're in a space where there's no like people at there's it's all land it's all open space and we go right out there but unfortunately we got caught I guess we got some neighbors that like to snitch on us which is unfortunate but there's nothing you can do about it because guess what us riding on these streets if they don't like it they have a right to snitch but it does suck that they did snitch but I wanted to bring you guys this video because I wanted to tell you guys about that information stay tuned we are going to be uploading dirt biking videos in the near future and guys thank you so much for being patient I do apologize oh shoot my battery's about to die hang on let me change batteries so I wanted to bring you guys this video just to update you on basically everything that's going on what's been happening and we are coming back to the channel with more riding videos I do apologize for being gone for so long I wanted to do gaming videos just to keep the channel updated and live but I know a lot of my fans are new dirt bike riders and stuff like that, so I didn't want to do that. And I do have the KTM, but not many of you guys really care for like the KTM motocross video, or not motocross, but motorcycle videos. You guys don't really care for that stuff. You guys really want the Chinese bikes. So I do apologize for that. I was kind of stuck in a predicament of what do I want to do? Do I want to just upload these videos, but not get that many views? Or do I want to just be patient, wait, and just... But yeah, guys, if you live in the area, please do not go ride. Don't go ride on the streets. The cops will get you. They will pull you over. They will take your bike and you will get charged for it so yeah just just don't do that but if you guys saw from the beginning of the video we do have a sponsor ridge thank you guys thank you ridge for sponsoring uh the next videos i appreciate that more than anything and guys please go check them out it's in the description below the wallets are amazing i love it as you guys can see mine's right here i shouldn't really have my credit card on the top so you guys can't see but i got the carbon fiber one which i think is sexy man it's so sleek it's so nice and look how thin it is like it's so like this is like, everything i've always wanted and the thing is about ridge is they sponsored me uh but i always wanted their product before before they even sponsored me so for them to hit me up was something that was crazy and to actually have it feels amazing i love this wallet so small so sleek but i hope you guys enjoy it it's hot as balls out here so i'm gonna go inside cool down a little bit see you guys in the next one where we'll be riding we'll actually be riding so stay tuned peace